Tom, you lived over on West 4th Street for 50 years, you said, and you're involved in, you started a neighborhood group over here. You're involved with uh, everything going on with our West Bayfront. Talk about what's happened in this neighborhood, how things have improved, and, and what you see. Well, I can see improvement on, on the way they've approached Gridley Park. They're looking at parking differently over there. They're mm -hmm. looking at a, a, a grocery thing in the middle of the, on a one day of the week in the, on Liberty. The park down here has Im improved. They've taken, I believe, three homes down that were, uh, were uh, useless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, so there's, there's things are happening. Very, uh, very fast and very nicely. What does this mean to the neighbors that, that these things are happening? Well, it, it picks up their attitude. They're able to feel good about where they live and, uh, uh, and they're, they're pushing for more. They're pushing to uh, oh, get more lighting on the streets. They're doing a survey now of, of the lighting of the area. And the sidewalks, I, I know that they've already done a section of sidewalk down on 2nd or 3rd mm -hmm. Street. And uh, they're looking for things like that to do. They're helping a neighbor out down the street here with his uh, remodel, or if you want to call it that, it was an old home that needed a lot of work, and uh, they're helping with that. So there, there's a lot of lead within the neighborhood. I've been kind of obsessed with that because it... It is here. Mm -hmm. My house next door was done with complete lead. He used to mix powder and, and, and make his own paint. So they qualify for the, uh, the lead abatement program, which is, is a big thing for them. And uh, I, I would guess almost 90% of these homes would somehow qualify for that part of the program. Income and, and uh, household, household composition is important to at least the, the lead factor is, is there uh, for them to begin with.